Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers. It means a lot to me that you've subscribed. Please make comments in the comment section just to help on the mental, physical and the emotional aspect. Also on the higher aspect of spirituality, we're gonna use the Zen cards just to see what's going on. So what would Capricorns like to know today? Capricorns today on the 5th of July. 5th of July for Capricorns. What do Capricorns need to know today? Sometimes if these readings don't resonate, if you just check out your moon sign, also your ascending sign, and you can do that anyway, it creates a bigger picture, doesn't it? So what do Capricorns need to know? Excellent. Right. So Capricorns, firstly, two of summer. Two of summer. This is a lovely card to have as it's unity in love. Falling in love back with ourselves is always a great idea. And it feels good too. <laughs> but for some of you who um, want to adopt a relationship more in your life, this will give you that unity. Sometimes with um, situations, a marriage aspect and partnership is here. But what else are we uniting with? Some of you are really connecting to a higher level to give to the world as well. That true spirituality that comes from our heart, our desire. What desires are we actually looking at to share? What in our life are we sharing? Sharing of ourself in a very positive way just helps a tiny drop to somebody else. So a drop of positivity though it's small, can grow like those ripples in that pond. So this is to do with water and emotions. So what emotions can we reflect back to ourselves? When we look in our mirror, are we happy with ourselves today? Do we need to grow more to develop that aspect? Are we looking at the reality of who we are? Or do we really need to reflect back a greater deeper learning so this is also about reflecting what can we reflect back to ourselves to be able to grow to be able to give love to everything in our life so as well Capricorns we have the strength card this is about strength by being gentle when we're gentle and kind we have more power and strength to be able to give and receive. Sometimes in your situation today, Capricorns, there may be a time when you feel very assertive, but it's in the gentle way of giving to that other person or to yourself. So the gentleness that we have to give inside ourselves needs to grow and develop. Friendships might be a factor in today. What friendship is slightly um, tipped over, maybe you're teaching them and being gentle with that. Or maybe you need to listen to someone who's got more, not charisma, but more fight in them, more ability to make things happen. So there's a balance here. So what balance can be reflected back to you to love and be gentle? Also, there is that unity going on. So this card is tapping into a, a greater good than ourselves. Maybe it's your higher being for trying to connect. Just have patience and being gentle with yourself. So the strength here and the unity is what we're teaching ourselves to be able to connect to everything that's possible in our life. Because this card is a two of birds, it's what can we take flight to our desire now? How can we feel more 
and be connected to what we want? Are we giving ourselves permission, the strength to be able to do that? The unity, do I have the thought, do I have the desire to put that into action? These are the questions you may be asking yourself today. So on a higher level, let's just have a look at the Zen to see what Zenness we can put into our life and develop further. So for, so for some of you, um, this is the courage to ask your partner to marry you. <laughs> Have you thought about that? You probably have. But these, because these two are about unity, marriage, partnership, finding the strength to be able to do that might be a good day to do it. Invite me to your wedding, won't you? <laughs> right, let's be serious. Wow, wouldn't it be great, though, if everyone who um, proposes to their uh, partner today and I get an invite, how many countries and how many places would I go? Oh, I'm excited now. Calm down, calm down. <laughs> right, OK. So we have the transformation. So this will give you um, a way to pull away from aspects. Now, because this is about two of summer, it's are you being very codependent in a relationship? Probably not. But there are ideas and situations that can keep you in a um, unhealthy way. And this is why taking flight to new pastures. Because sometimes toxic um, soil doesn't allow us to grow into that healthy um, establishment. So for some of you, taking the strength to pull away from aspects that are tying us together. So this is what, if you remember right from the start, I said, what are we reflecting back to us? So having a look at, um, are you tied to a situation that you don't really want to be in? What sort of partnership are you being tied to? So you've got the creator here. So you're going to feel in charge of how you um, want to find the strength to be able to create more of. So when we said before about um, that fight, that spirit, that high spirit, maybe you need to adopt that assertiveness to be able to do what you need to do in a way to break free or have the courage to be able to put into action your leadership quality. You've also got the patience, the patient time. So being patient, allowing things to develop in their own time. So if, if you're a person who's trying to really struggle with the pushing of um, partnership, living together, marriage things like that that's a kind of an idea and having the patience to unite and be together may be more of a, a patient developing stage but what is clear is is that partnerships and being united in that aspect is really quite good so for those of you who are haven't really been thinking about having a relationship those thought patterns must be released because anything is possible. Sometimes we prevent ourselves from doing that because of work, of circumstances, but by being more gentle, one can have that. The male lion lives by himself because that's what he likes to do. But the sheep is a herd um, animal. It's not following me, is it? <laughs> so what that means is reflecting back to you. Are you a herd person or are you a leader? Now, because they're in the same card, it's like the together. Those two aspects have to be together. 
So when you've got the two of, uh, emotions here and the unity on the spiritual level, those two factors have to live together, if that makes sense. I'm not saying, <laughs> for some of you, might you might have read that as, oh yeah, he's not good for me or she's not good for me and together we should be together. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying there is a balance between the yang and the yin to bring harmony to a situation. So the over-tipping of being assertive and passive doesn't always work. They have to be of a same level. Right, so for Capricorns, what is the aspect in the moonology? Okay, so emotions are running high. Now you can see perhaps why I said there needs to be a balance between the over-assertiveness or aggression and the being passive, being submissive. So when emotions are running high, one needs to release yourself from that kind of trap, if that makes sense. So Capricorns, I wish you all the love today in the world. And thank you so much for listening. See you again later.